back with you again. This time it's a recipe. Our go-to recipe for cheesecake, if we wanted to have a lemony, um, lemony taste to it, is our lemon, um, lemon cheesecake. I had gotten this over in uh, Pinterest, and so I'm going to show you guys how uh, we do it, and then I'm going to um, also tell you how I kind of tweaked it a bit. Okay, so it's going to call for sugar and vanilla, and I do like my vanilla over at Trader Joe's. I love to put the um, pure bourbon vanilla extract into everything I bake. And then it's going to ask for lemon curd. You can definitely make your own. I'm debating whether I'm going to make mine or if I'm not, then I bought the lemon curd from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is the only um, go-to place that I buy my lemon curd. I think this one is really, um, it's great for everything. I even use it as a macaron filling when I make my macarons, um, eggs, and then um, some like cookie, like um, type of cookie crumbs. If you want this to be a chocolate crumb you could definitely use some you know chocolate um oreos and if you want it with just um um honey grams you can definitely use the the gra uh, graham crackers if you want to use some other form of a biscuit cookie you can use that as well so that's the variation that you can really put your um your own touch to it and then it's going to call for sour cream and then it's also going to ask for three ounces of these um original Philadelphia, I've had this for a few hours out into the counter, so it's really nice and soft. Got that, and then it asks for a quarter cup of butter. But I am on my recipe, I like to put it onto this size, and I think my size is a little bit, um, it's a standard size. So I wrap the outside with a foil, and then I'm gonna do a little uh, water bath to add some steam to it when you bake it. That really works well on this recipe. And then I like to have my cookie crumb kinda a little bit thick, so the cookie crumb, the recipe asks for two cups. I tend to use the whole box. And then um, if I need to, and then I melt the whole butter, and then I tend to just add. So I first add the, the quarter of cup. It's, if it's not enough, then I just add a little bit more. So that's how I vary it. But for the recipe, it does call for the two cups of the, the cookie of whatever cookie crumbs you're gonna use, and then a quarter cup of the butter. But like I said, I kinda tweak it a little bit. And then we're gonna do some lemon zest of one lemon and then the uh, lemon curd and then you can also use cream of tartar when you're doing the um the topping it's going to have a um, like a meringue topping you can do um, cream of tartar or you can opt out if you uh, if you really know how to make the um the meringue and not over steep it it doesn't necessarily have to be with the cream of tartar good with that okay so let's get started hubby is my helper into the kitchen today he filled it all the way to the top, which was three packets. So go ahead, hubby, and just basically pulse it. And then we're gonna keep doing it until we get like a fine cookie crumb. Okay? All right, so here is the spring form um, that I prepped up with the foil um, outside of it to um, give like a second layer of um, secure thing so that it doesn't seep through um, out. And then I used just a measuring cup and patted it down. So that's all patted, nice and ready. So I'll put that to the side. Next, I'm gonna do the, the cream cheese and the sour cream. Three softened cream cheese in there, and they're each um, eight ounces, so a total of 24 ounces. And then it's gonna go just, all right, so it's gonna go up. Thank you, hubby. And then it's just gonna go low for a little bit and just let that cream. And then we're gonna add the sour cream and then the vanilla. The cheese has been mixing for just about a minute just to soften it up a bit and put it through together. And then now we're adding the sour cream, one cup. And then we're also gonna add one cup of uh, white sugar. Um, sour cream is in there along with the white sugar and we're gonna go ahead and um, use the mixer and, and mix it until it is nice and smooth. them uh, scrape the side of the bowl to make sure everything is incorporated and then we're gonna start adding the eggs one at a time and then while he's doing that I'm going to cut up some lemons squeeze about a quarter or so or maybe a little bit I like it a little bit tangy so I like to have a little bit over a quarter of a cup and then also mix it with the, um, the vanilla extract add my last egg 
and I'm doing this right directly onto the bowl, but make sure that you have no eggshells in there. Um, also, you can do it on a separate bowl as well. Quick lift, and then we're gonna work on our lemon juice. One, um, one lemon zested, and then it was a quarter of a lemon juice, and one big lemon is perfect for a quarter cup of lemon juice. So we're just gonna go ahead and put it in here along with that vanilla extract, and then also I zested um lemon so that's just the zest of a lemon and then i'm just gonna put that in there okay a little bit in there and then mix it our cookie crumb like i said all prepped up and then look at our lemon cheesecake. And um, you could actually stop it at this, just putting the this one in here, um, allowing it to cook uh, 300. I have a con uh, convection oven, so I have it at um, three, uh, 325. It will cook for about an hour, but I am getting this recipe. Like I said, I mentioned that um, I got this from Pinterest. I believe original recipe came from a Michelle Burger. I'm not sure. You know how Pinterest goes. It, it's, uh, it goes viral. Um, I'm going to go ahead and also do the lemon curd. I just decided to do this one and then do like a, a meringue or marshmallow topping. I don't know which one I'm going to do. Her recipe is a meringue, so maybe I'll just do that. Okay? So, hubby is pouring it. It's just going to go evenly over. And then we are going to bake this for about an hour and like i said you can stop and then let it set into the refrigerator for about three to four hours overnight is preferred but um, i'm gonna do it to where i'm gonna set it for about three to four hours and then i'm gonna do the lemon meringue i'm gonna spread the lemon curd on top then the lemon meringue and then it's gonna go back into the oven just basically to brown up that meringue at the top see how i like my crust almost to the top And this is so good, guys. How many times have I made this, babe? Uh, too many. This is Hubby's favorite. This is why I can't lose weight. <laughs> this is so good. All right, I'm going to scrape the the bowl because they love every bit of it. And then plus it's going to go over that. Yep. All right. Okay, friends, I am back. It is now morning. I had made the video last night around, I think, 10. 10 o'clock and it cooked for an hour i i actually put it in there for just a little like five minutes longer and then you see the crack because i was kind of concerned it was a little bit jiggly in the middle but it did say to take it out um before it actually sets in the middle and then i have that crack you can actually um have it as is and it's perfectly fine it's going to be a lemon cheesecake it's got lemon uh, fresh lemon flavors in there but i'm going to put the the lemon curd on top and then i'm also gonna do a little meringue um that's how her her recipe is and like i said i got this from pinterest i've made this three times one for a co-worker and then one for a friend for her birthday they absolutely loved it um so i'm gonna go ahead and um and make it again for you guys and um and see how you guys like it okay so i'm gonna start with making the um egg whites i'm gonna put four egg whites along with it says uh, about a quarter cup of uh sugar i just um i just eyeball it because I, I couldn't find my quarter cup of measuring cup that's about a third and then i'm gonna put the egg yolks um in here so i can make scrambled eggs okay and then i'm also gonna layer it with the with the lemon curd all right 
I went ahead and spread the lemon curd. It takes about one cup to uh, one and a half cups. So I just used up the whole jar. And that's on top all the way around to the, um, to the edge. And then here is my um, egg whites with sugar. I'm just going to mount it on top and then bake it at 325 for about 10 to 12 minutes. Keep an eye on it. You just want the top a little bit of golden brown and then that's it. All right, here is the egg whites. This time I'm not going to put it into a water bath. I still have that foil though. I'm just going to keep it as is. I'm going to put it on the very top of the oven. It's not going to be on broil. It's just going to be on the very top rack and then 10 uh, to 12 minutes on three, about 300 to 325 degrees. I just took it out of the oven. Now it's going to rest into the fridge. I'm gonna let it re um, rest into the counter for about maybe uh, 15 minutes and then rest into the fridge for at least an hour to let it cool and then you can just cut it and serve. That is our lemon cheesecake and then you can opt to have a meringue on top. Okay. All right, friends, so here is the lemon cheesecake that hubby and I made for you. It is, um, it is uh, rested now into the oven. The meringue kind of shrank up a little bit, which is expected. That's how it um, happens as well when I make the lemon meringue pie. But look at all that drizzle. Oh my goodness. Look at all that lemon curd that's into the middle. And then I like how I, um, I put extra uh, cookie crumbs onto the side because then it kind of rises up and see how it goes all the way up in there compared to just a little, I don't like little crumbs onto, or not crumbs, but little thin crust onto my cheesecake. I like my cheesecake to have a lot of, uh, of crumbs. That's why I did it that way. And then it shrunk up a little bit here. But other than that, it looks amazing. So we're gonna take a bite out of this, cut it up, and then show you guys how it looks like. All right, we've already cut into it um, to give to the neighbors. And then, so hubby is gonna take a test. Mmm. <laughs> is, is it good? Is oh, it really yes. Good? Yes, like very lemony. lemony. Very lemony. No, hold Perfect. on, hold on. Let me, let me try it. Mmm. <laughs> is it good? Mm -hmm. You see how it's set nice and firm, and then that lemon, lemon curd is drizzling down. It's really good. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video recipe of our lemon cheesecake. Okay? Mahalo.